Today, we talk with a diabetic who tells us that nobody has ever explained to her why diabetics need to be very careful with their feet. And she's been a diabetic for five years and being treated for five years for her diabetes. And she says nobody has ever explained why diabetics need to be concerned about their feet. Well, we know it's because some diabetics will lose the sensation or the feeling in their feet. And then if they get a cut or a scrape or an ingrown toenail, the infection can spread pretty, pretty fast so that the only option left is to amputate. So it's very important for anybody who is a diabetic, and even if you haven't lost the sensation in your feet, you want to get into the habit of visually checking your feet every single night so that if there is a cut or a scrape or an ingrown toenail or anything else going on, it doesn't go too far before you go get treated. So uh, this is another first time patient who agreed to let us film her visit and I hope you enjoy the video. So when I was testing that light touch on the bottom of your feet and the vibration, um, the fact that you couldn't feel or you thought I was in a different spot on all of them. Um, we good there? Okay. Um, what that tells me is that you know you are starting to lose some of the feeling in your feet. So when you hear about diabetics who lose a leg, mm -hmm. It can start with something as simple as an ingrown toenail that you don't oh feel, God. or a blister or a little cut, or you step on something, and you maybe don't feel it because you don't have good sensation. So it's really, really important that you get in the habit, starting now, of visually checking the bottoms of your feet mm -hmm. every single night. I focus on the toes. Yep, and, and in between the toes and all of that. Mm -hmm. but that you're visually checking it because you you won't maybe feel it. And then it gets infected, and then it can be too late. Yeah. So I do try to scare you a little bit. No, I'm, I need to be scared straight. Because <laughs> we don't want you losing a toe or part of your foot or a leg to diabetes. Oh my God, like what can be the time span of that? You know, it can go from just an ingrown toenail to the infection is now going up your leg in a day. I mean, it can be that fast in a diet. I think I'm going to need to see you every 30 days. <laughs> you pay for the one appointment out of pocket. Why do you feel that? I don't think I should. I think my days of nail polish, I can go and just have them put polish on if I want. Okay. But I think the days of using them in between appointments with you are gone. I think the risk now you've explained is a lot higher than I anticipated, so. Well, you know, with your diabetes is pretty well controlled. Yeah. And your nails are not horrible by yeah. any stretch of the imagination. But the calluses. Right, those, are you doing anything to manage those at home? I've been using a, I have a Swedish foot file. Okay. But I always confuse, some people say with wet feet, some people say dry feet, which well, you know, there's, so one of the things that I recommend to people is that head ache thing. You know, it used to be a late night infomercial. Oh, okay. It looks like half of a silly putty egg. Okay. With, um, it's got like a little cheese grater on it. <laughs> and, you know, they recommend that you do it when the skin is wet. Okay. Until, and, and that's what I was recommending to people until one patient said, well, wouldn't that be like trying to sand wet blood? Um. And I went, oh, you know, you're right. And so then I started telling people do it when the skin is dry. Yeah, yeah. that's what my doctor recommended, my previous doctor. Yeah. Who referred me to you. Yeah, yeah. Good guy. Yeah. I like him. Oh, it was so nice. I, yeah. I was devastated when he left. And the problem is nobody knows how to get a hold of him. Yeah, well, that's just it. He retired. They moved to another state. Right, I but nobody ranked. answers his emails and or his phone. Oh, is they still connected. open? Like ringing and... No, but the emails, nobody responds. So, like, if somebody needed their records, what would they do? Yeah. And um, so I've tried his cell phone, which is disconnected. And I've tried his email, which nobody answers. So... Oh, my gosh. That, yeah. I never considered that. Yeah. 
So it, it's usually pretty standard that people know where to go to get their records right. um, when a doctor retires, but right now we have no way to get people's old yeah. records. That's, wow. Do you think he shredded everything? No idea. Yeah. No idea. But I've known him since I was a resident. He, he was one of the attending physicians in my program. Oh. So I've known him for 30 years. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And he was a really, just a happy little guy. You okay. know, just really nice. And yeah. Okay. Now, if we think this is broken, I'm going to go really gently on this. Okay. Because I don't want to hurt you. And if it is broken, then we'll just, next time I see you, we'll just thin it out a lot more than I can do today. Okay. Um, is this hurting? No, no, no. Oh, well, also you don't, have a, like, right, you also don't have a lot of feeling, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. And then do you want me to use my sander to take the nail polish off? Um, yeah, that would be great if you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, even though I go to this, you know, salon where... You know, everything like is like yours. It's all packaged, and you know, I feel safe in that way. Mm -hmm. It's just they still want to do the side of the nails. They still want to, you know, shape. I'm just like I want to straight cut across. Mm -hmm. Nothing else done, right? Mm -hmm. But I think the days of them actually doing my nails is over. I, I well, gotta, that's you'll the have risk to is too high. It's worth paying out of pocket for every thirty days to get get the thirty days and come to you on the sixtieth. No. So are you on are you on Medicare then? Yes. On disability? And, um, yeah, okay. med Medicare disability. Um, but I do do some consulting work with. I'm a social worker, okay. so I do some um, kind of independent 1099 kind of self contracted um, okay. consults with different programs. Um, but that's part time. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's get these thinned out. Now, if, I, if there's a fracture... Four minutes again. Really? Yeah. Um, all right, then um, let's just get this big toe done first, and then mm -hmm. if we have to... That's really weird. Why would that be almost out of... I, I deleted everything. All I right. thought I might be talking about the battery, but the battery's at full charge. Yeah. All right. Vibration powder in your scalp? No, but I can feel it. Yay. Is that the dance of the big toe or is that the big 
suffering from an injury, and my brother had like accidentally stood on my on that toe. Mm -hmm. he, he started throwing that funnel with what do you think? Do you mean the nail? Yeah. You know, it's hard to know. The only way to know truly if it's fungal or not is to test the nail. Oh, okay. And the only reason to do that is if you think you would want to treat it. Um, and you're on so many medications already. Yeah. I would be very hesitant to put you on another one for fungal nails. Right. And it's just that that one's the baddest, you know. Right. This has been like for years. I have two of those surgeries where they go in and take out the sides. And both of them. This is the best one to stand on my right foot. So. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. And then the callus, is, that's the callus that yeah. you need turned out. Okay. Yeah, like this is better. It's, yeah, not so bad. Yeah, this and is then bad. I'll tell you what, let's do it this way and then he can just sit right where he is. Okay. Um, let's have you bend your knee and then roll it, roll it to the outside so that that's kind of facing upwards. There you go. Are you able to see it from there? And it's also kind of really tender in the middle of it. Do you see that? Right here? Yeah. yeah. So it's sad. Sad. You know, it's just it's where the callus is and the skin does get tender. And uh, I'm wearing big band-aids on it. And that's fine. Uh, you know, protect it kind of from, and it works. Yeah. Um, so there are little gel toe caps that you can put on oh. that'll protect it. Right now I wouldn't because it's so swollen it would cut off your circulation. Oh, okay. Because the toe is so swollen. Sure. Um, are you able to see what I'm, what I'm doing? Okay. Is this hurting at all? No, I'm just kind of flinching. My nerves are flinching. Okay, so <laughs> not, you no pain, yeah. Okay. But I can feel what you're doing. Well, that's good. Yeah. I think I just really need to get the binge order, just binge eating disorder, which I went through Melrose for a year and a half, and then now I'm working with a therapist who that's like her specialty. So um, I really need to get that binging of carbs and sugar every night stopped because I'm sure my numbers are very different at night. Okay. You know, during the morning, they're all close to 100, like 102, 4, 6, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I know it's, I do well during the day, but I'm afraid to take it at night after I've binged. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll take off my polish next time. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, but I mean, to save you a step. I gained 17 pounds of the 120 I've lost. 
You've lost 120 pounds? pounds. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I've maintained it through the pandemic up until the lithium at 300 milligrams. That um, won't make you gain weight? It, 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 it interacted with the LASIK, and I was like, I don't know if it's 0.1 or 1.0, but I was at a therapeutic level, and thank God I was taking my lamictal because, you know, even though they say it's not as effective for, like, the mixed episodes, or for, it's good for depression, but not as good as for the mania. Mm -hmm. So I just got, I need to get that, I need to really work with that therapist. Yeah. Well, okay, so from our standpoint, we've talked about um, checking your feet visually every yeah. night. We've talked about asking your doc for a referral to a vascular specialist. Okay. And then let's get the x-ray on this big toe and just see if it is in fact broken. Okay. And then we'll decide what to do from there. Okay. So um, okay. So uh, thank you for letting us do the video. Sure. We did get the x-rays and you can see it here, but it's easier on this view here that she did in fact fracture the toe. So we got her immobilized and we'll follow up with her in about a month.